decorating your home can start to add up in price. From picking out paint colors, deciding on finishes for faucets, to picking up the perfect piece of mantle decor, the price tag can go from modest to astronomical pretty quickly. Thankfully, we found a way to help, and you might even have a grand time before you even start the project. Interior decorator and owner of Janie Lane, Janelle Sarda, is going to teach us how we can take an old wine bottle and turn it into a showstopper for your home. I am so excited for this, Janelle, because I have always wanted to do something with my wine bottles, mm -hmm. but I wasn't really sure how to get started or what would be a success. Right. Yeah, there's lots of different ideas out there, and I think you have to kind of pick through what you're going to do with wine bottles, and it has to fit you. Right. So I picked a couple that I felt like, these, these made sense for me. I would use them in my home, and we always have too many wine bottles laying around, so right. got to do something with them. Exactly. For yeah. those that don't know, Janelle has her own vineyard, so... Yes, so wine bottles drinking are, wine. <laughs> are pretty common in your place. They but sure are. Let's talk about this first example. This is the glitter wine bottle, and you're actually yeah. going to be demonstrating this one for us today and yep. walking through this process. Yeah. So obviously, the first thing you need is a great uh, bottle of wine. You're going to want to drink that up, give it a good clean, and then um, you're always going to want to take the label off. Wine bottles have beautiful labels. They're not easy to get off. So one thing I learned right away is I did some research and you boil some water and then you take a, um, a funnel and pour the hot water into it up to the line of, the, of where the label is and in two minutes your label will just peel right off super easily. Okay. I did make a mistake doing this though, so I want everyone to be aware. Like, it's hot water, and first I used the silicone one, and it made like a suction around here. So when I poured the water in, it actually went pop, oh, no. and it got me in the face, and it was hot. So I then I switched to this one, which allowed more air in while you were pouring it in. So be super duper careful if you do that process, but it does work really, really well. Okay. The label peeled straight off, and then you just use some Goo Gone to clean that off. And then you're gonna wanna use rubbing alcohol or vinegar to clean it off again. Because if you leave the residue from Goo Gone on here, your paint's not gonna stick very well or your glue's not gonna stick well. So that's super important. So I'm gonna do the, the glitter bottle. And I just bought some glitter at Hobby Lobby. You're gonna want a decent amount. So make sure, I, this is like a four ounce jar. And I just laid it out on the paper like this. So it's about the size of the bottle that you were wanting. And you could use other glue, I suppose, like Elmer's glue or whatever, but this spray adhesive is the best. You're just gonna spray it on, give a little shake. You're just gonna spray the bottle. Just make sure you get it all over. So when I did the other one too, I didn't go all the way up to the top. I just kind of spritzed yeah, it I like at the that top. Look. Cause I like how it kind of flows, kind of ombre. And then you're just gonna roll it so you could use a different color of glitter too if you, you wanted to. You could, absolutely. I just like the glittery, golden, diamondy look. And then any spots that there isn't any, you can kind of sprinkle it. So that I just did up here at the top. To give like the I ombre said, look. To give it that more ombre look, yep. But you can just kind of keep rolling it until you got it like you want. Give it a good shake. And then you've got another one. So I just think it'd be super fun if you were doing um, like a New Year's Eve party. Yeah. A great way to have a, the glitter and set them out across the table because to go out and buy a whole bunch of candle holders is gonna get spendy. Save your bottles throughout the year. Um, I just am using a short taper, which I think is kind of nice because if you use a long taper, you're gonna be way up here right. with your candle. So the short taper works really well to put in there, but you could just have those all over your table and it would be gorgeous. And for this, that would probably match some people's home decor all year round too, if they have Absolutely. that more um, romantic, elegant feel. Yeah. But we're gonna go through a different, a couple different ones that you brought in, yeah. um, just to kind of explain the look. But the first one is the mercury bottle. How did you do this one? Yeah. So this one, I am just in love with this paint. I've never used this paint before. Um, obviously, you could use any type of spray paint if you want a color, if you want a different kind of metallic. This is specifically called Looking Glass spray paint. It is not just silver spray paint, it's called looking glass spray paint, and it is more expensive than other spray paint, so sticker shock it. a little bit. Totally worth it though. So what you do with this one is you actually use um, that vinegar that I talked about to clean it. If you leave some of the speckles of the vinegar on, it kind of eats away at this paint. So you wa wash it with the vinegar, you spray it real good, let it dry, and then I did a second coat because there were some spots. With wine bottles, because it is glass, 
the paint does start to flow a little bit. Okay. Um, so I did come back and do a second one. Then after you let it dry for like 20 minutes, I waited. You can take that vinegar again and kind of wash it. And again, the little speckles of the vinegar kind of eat away at it. And it gives it kind of that old mercury glass look. So this one, I mean, this again, you could use this as a candle holder. Um, but I just have this. I have these at my store. And I just think it's such a beautiful way to create a really pretty vase. I'm obsessed with this one. This is my favorite look so yeah. far. I actually like these two together too. I'm like, this yeah. could be a good complement of the glitter and the mercury glass and you could do some greens and some candles and that would make a really pretty dining table display as well. Yeah, I am obsessed with that one. So let's go to the next one now. This is the wrapped bottle. Yeah, so this one again, I just went and spray painted it. This spray paint is actually this spray paint here, which is like a hammered brown look. So it's gonna give a texture to the wine bottle. This again, you're gonna have to do a couple of coats to get it to stick because it starts to flow a little bit. So I spray painted it brown and then I just went to Hobby Lobby and you can actually buy bags of scrap leather. So I cut and made a little cuff. You can buy bags of scrap tie. I wrapped that around there and then I got my kids involved in this too. We decided to put joy on it so we stamped it with the little stampers. Now we're into all different types of leather stuff. So we kind of love this one too. You could do this same wrap thing on a candle, a different vase, but just another way to wrap your wine bottle. Again, it would work as the candle holder. You could sure take uh, the green here and again, you've got yeah. a vase. So I love the leather. It's, that is a great look, especially yeah. with the different texture then. Um, we are almost out of time, but just real quick, explain how you made this tree. Yeah, so this one here I think is kind of fun because this is an unopened bottle of wine. If you haven't drank it yet. So you could do this to the bottle, bring it as a hostess present, and then when they're done drinking the wine, they also have a decor piece that they could have at the end. So this is just kind of fun. I literally just cut uh, quick triangles, glued them on. I didn't do it perfect. I like things kind of rough and, and rustic. So it was just a fun project to do. It probably took me 45 minutes to glue them all on and makes a great gift. And hot glue you used? Hot glue, yeah. Oh, these are great. I love them all. Definitely my favorite though is the middle one. Me too. But they're all great. So thank you so much. You are so creative and talented well, at what you, you do. So thank you for coming in and sharing yeah. this with us. Thanks for letting me come.